Love never ends, but as for prophecies, they will come to an end. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will come to an end. For we know only in part, and we prophesy only in part. But when the complete comes, the partial will come to an end. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became an adult, I put an end to childish ways. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then we will see face to face. Now I know only in part, then I will know fully, even as I have been fully known. Now faith, hope, and love abide, these three, and the greatest of these is love. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 8 through 13. This is a Chevy Cobalt, uh, 2009. One of my helpful people who drive this car hit uh, a mailbox lid, apparently, and the whole thing kind of broke off. It apparently broke the bolts out here, here, and up here. So looking at the inside of the car here, I'm just going to pop this out. All right, so some guys can get this off of here with just the, their fingers, but my fingers are not that helpful. So, so, so before I got too uh, rambunctious, I just looked down in here, and so that piece is what came loose when I was prying on it above. There's the first bolt that you got to, or not that you got to get to, and there's the second one down there. But if I'm looking at that piece right there, kind of looks like it's staked to there. So I don't think I want to pull that off. I'm just going to try to get a wrench down in there and uh, take those take those nuts off. I'm going to take my 10 millimeter wrench or ratchet. one and get that wire out of the way it's a little too tight so I happen to have one of these handy dandy wrenches Okay, this one's pretty straightforward. This is a 10 millimeter if I didn't already say that. So once I got those bolts out of there, I was able to just snap it back on there. It's held on by a, a little little metal clip on there it's not going to stay on there like that of course but uh, just to take the weight off of the wire so i can deal with this so it looks like uh there's no way to there's no way to get down in there uh, to get to where the connector is for the wire uh, without popping the front edge of this uh, interior trim panel on the door off so that's what we're going to do next so i'm going to I put some duct tape on my screwdriver just to, so I don't get uh, to prying on the paint too much here. still kind of hanging on this thing I think this clips down over the the gap for the window so I'm gonna 
Go ahead and pop this lower. Oh, it went off too. So now I'm gonna see if I can get in there to get through that connector. Okay, this view is looking down inside the, um, in between the gap in the front uh, of the interior door panel. So that little connector is is held by like a Christmas tree into the door panel. So I'm gonna try to pry that off. So I happen to have one of these little uh, Christmas tree puller tools that I'm gonna stick down in there next to that, uh, next to that connector. So looking down in there, I have that in behind there. Okay, got that out. So now, let's see. So there's the Christmas tree. And there is the connector. It's not, not quite clear of the door panel. So there is the connector the side of it. And I think just putting my little tool and raising up that clip a little bit will allow that to come apart. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to put down the camera to do that actually. And indeed, that's all there was to it. You just raise that little tab and comes right out. So now I'll be able to take the mirror off the car and actually I'm wondering if I can uh, get it back on there, uh, epoxy those parts back on, and see if it'll actually hold it in place rather than buying a new one. It's a painted mirror so those are always more expensive. So, and so I thought I would just check before I went and tried to fix this mirror just check to see if the electronic adjustments still work and uh, it looked like the up and down was working but the the in and out was not so um, and I look got to looking down in there the glass is kind of protruding out you know naturally there I'm not holding this apart at all it's just right there so it looks like maybe that white piece has come out of where it's supposed to to go Okay, I just took my screwdriver and shoved that in the direction towards the top of the of the view here, and uh, I heard it pop back into place. So I wonder if that's going to allow. Yeah, that that allowed the thing to start moving as normal. So, let's just check out the electronic action here. All right, looks good. Okay, so I'm just going to pop this door panel uh, back on here. Uh, so that the car can be used while I'm trying to epoxy that other thing. So I've got to get these pins lined up here. Okay. The slot is supposed to go in. So we're all flush again. So I just put a little duct tape over the hole so that the water, if it rains, doesn't pour down inside the door. So it probably wouldn't be too good for the rust in the bottom of the door, but they're supposed to be drain holes, but you know how that goes. Okay, so I'm gonna take this pad off here. And I have three pieces that are broken. This piece 
Ты чё, сбежали? This piece fits right here. And this piece just screws in right here. But it's split over here. So I am going to attempt to use JB Weld to glue those things back in place and uh, hope that it's strong enough to hold it. Okay, so there's the JB Weld. On the on the three bolt places, so we'll let that dry and try to put it back on. The glue job was successful, and I reinstalled this cover, the foam pad here, um, and so it's ready to go back on the car. Okay, so we. Put it on there. We have the first couple of bolts started. I'm gonna use the my magnet to make sure I don't drop the drop the nut down in there. So now we're gonna hook up the wire here and we're going to try to stick the Christmas tree back in the hole there it goes Line up the paint inner panel. Okay, put the door panel back in and it's working well.